Greetings, everybody. It's time to visit Chinatown in San Francisco, a great place to get in touch with Chinese culture, try unusual food, buy cheap souvenirs, and practice the language spoken by over 1.3 billion people. We will start from the Dragon Gate at the intersection of Bush Street and Grant Avenue. Walk north on Grant Avenue, which is basically one giant souvenir store. After reaching Broadway Street, we will turn left. This is where the merchandise shifts from souvenirs towards food. There are more bistro and small restaurants with authentic food, as well as grocery stores. We will then turn left on Stockton Avenue and walk down the hill. In a sense, we will circumvent the oasis of Chinese culture in the middle of a modern city. One thing to remember before we begin is that you can find a million different things in Chinatown, but finding a public restroom may be a challenge. Some installations are hard to figure out and may be out of order. Your best bet would be Portsmouth Square Plaza, a block east of Grant Avenue between Clay Street and Washington Street. It also has a playground, a number of historical markers, and a bridge to the entrance of Chinese Culture Center. Let's begin. The Dragon's Gate is guarded by two sculptures of Fu Lions to deter evil spirits. Male lion on the left has its paw on the ball, and female lion on the right is with the cub. It symbolizes protection of the structure or home by the male and protection of those who live there is provided by the female lion. The gate is the only gate in North America built according to the tradition. It faces south, made of stone pillars and has a roof with green tiles. Two small passageways are for commoners, and the central one is for important persons. The phrase on the wooden plaque can be translated to English as following. Everything under the sky is for the good of the people. The stores of Chinatown are stuffed with Asian art, traditional clothing, t-shirts of many designs, tons of curiosities, and a huge amount of souvenirs. Most of them have interesting stories to tell. Take, for instance, these cute paw-waving cats called Maneki Neko in Japanese. They are talismans bringing luck and good fortune to the owners. Interestingly, there are versions with two paws up, which should bring protections in comparison to one paw up cats bringing customers to the store or restaurant. The color is also important. White for happiness and purity, gold, wealth and prosperity, black to protect from evil, red, success and love, and green, good health. This is Broadway. We will walk west to Stockton Avenue and then south. Dim Sum Bistro is where we bought some dumplings. Dried sea cucumbers of various sizes and origins. They are called Si Jingcheng in China, reflecting the belief that they have similar healing properties. Along with dried abalone and shark fins, 
Sea cucumber is the food to impress the guests. It needs to be reconstituted in the water as a part of the preparation process. If you have doubts about eating dry sea creatures, you can try blossom tea. These marble-sized balls transform into a flower in hot water. Buddha's hand fruit, a citrus, and pitaya, a cactus fruit also known as dragon fruit. Pitaya is rich in antioxidants and vitamins, and Buddha's hand has no pulp or juice and is valued for its aroma. This is lotus root, must be good sliced, stir fried with some sesame and onions. Thanks for watching and good luck!